Welcome to Strewing the Legs. My name is Mr. Orange and welcome to a new gaming stock companies video. So finance market and gaming companies or video games, PC games meet the finance market. So this is actually what this series is all about. And before I jump in, yeah, it's today. It's the 23rd of November here in Western Europe. And uh, you see here on the screen the Nasdaq Composite. And it's amazing. The last week was simply amazing, my friends. If you if you look at the Nasdaq Composite, so that's now the chart since 2014. So I check it always on Yahoo Finance. So I recommend you go to your, uh, Yahoo Finance. It's actually one of the best free uh, possibilities to check some the sh nice charts. So that's the, uh, yeah, you remember all uh, December 2018. It was really, really hot and finally finally we have a new top we have a new top we have a new high in the stock market in the nasdaq and it's amazing my friends it's definitely amazing uh, i also want to say before i continue with this video i'm not a financial advisor i'm just a youtuber and i make these videos for entertainment purposes only and of course this is not a video for children so <laughs> copper you know it <laughs> just kidding all right so that's it. So the Nasdaq really, really had a great run. So it's very much possible that it comes back uh, in the next weeks. I mean, obviously, uh, it already started a little bit here. So, but if this now just pulls through, pulls up, oh my God, maybe we see the melt up. Maybe we see the melt up, my friends. And the melt up means, oh my God. So this is like trading sideways since, uh, since end of 2018. And if we see a melt up, this is going to be amazing. All right, don't want to talk too much about this in general. Let's jump to our favorite gaming stock. And therefore, I want to jump now. Uh, which is, oh, that's the one here. That's the five here, Leah. So let's have a look at Activision Blizzard. Activision Blizzard, Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, BlizzCon, Diablo 4, all of those games. Everything, all of this is coming out. and. Uh, and people are like, yeah, Activision Blizzard, the games were not so good, and people are like, yeah, it could be better, but Activision Blizzard is in a new phase of the company. So, so what you can see here, yes, I, I, I personally have to say, I was actually expecting that when we were here at $55, that we now pull through uh, and go straight to the $80 again. So this was not happening, so actually we... Well, if you see the long time sh long term chart so it's actually all fine so this was not happening and therefore we have to be a little bit more patient with activision blizzard so disclaimer i'm invested in activision blizzard i'm bullish on activision blizzard but of course this doesn't mean that you should in any way uh, take this uh, fact as a recommendation to purchase it because you see it's also a volatile stock with a lot of risk and no one knows if it really pulls up so no one really knows this. Do we have some interesting news here? Activision executive raised 19 million for blockchain based games. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think so that this is really, really uh, pulling something off. All right. So what is the next gaming stock? The next gaming stock, my friends, is Nintendo. The classic. Everyone knows Nintendo. Everyone loves Nintendo. So actually here we were dropping, dropping also in uh, in August. So I'm reloading again. It looks like, ah, okay. No, it's, it's, it's the right chart. So. Yeah, Nintendo has a good run now. So we were dropping uh, very badly here in October, end of October. Uh, this year, but uh, Nintendo is back, so I can't really say where it's going to go to. So it's a uh, Nintendo is for me very difficult at, at the moment. So I would say they have the they have the Switch and maybe bring some other consoles, some more games, but I can't really say if 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 we see like a more well. What is uh, maybe Nintendo and the Chinese market could uh, could bring in the future some. Some some new uh, shells of, of consoles and games, but at the moment I'm a bit reluctant on Nintendo. What is the next one? The next one is the yeah, it's it's Electronic Arts and Electronic Arts is trading totally sideways. So I don't see I don't see with Electronic Arts at the moment. Uh, doesn't look like a break break uh, break up. Not a breakup that it breakthrough, through. Sorry, 
through the sideways uh, trading line. I don't see it, so it's actually even more possible that when the general market goes down, that I have the impression that Activision Blizzard uh, will see also again the $70 range. So at the moment, I wouldn't uh, invest in Activision Blizzard uh, personally, since I don't see uh, any interesting games uh, coming out. So also the new Star Wars game is a great game. They make bringing the games now again to Steam, which is uh, also very cool. So that maybe needs to be, be mentioned here. So uh, bring games to Steam as well as Microsoft, but yeah, at the moment it doesn't look like they have really the, the breakthrough of something. Trading sideways, there's something new needs to, to happen. So also now with Google Stadia coming out, uh, games as service like from Ubisoft, this is uh, Take Two is the next one. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out for PC. More or less a successful title, but I guess most people already have it on the console or will buy it again on PC. So what we see here is also more, more or less trading sideways since uh, June uh, 2017, which uh, with some ne nice meltdowns and uh, yeah, and then on uh, up to August uh, being very successful, but at the moment 2.5% down. So. It's also side trading more sideways, so I w I wouldn't invest now. Maybe maybe better to take a, take a look and uh, observe it nicely, and then you see where it's going to. So the financials part of Take Two, the financials are not too bad. So the revenues were always uh, uh, have been risen, so that's good as well as the rev uh, the earnings, the earnings, the revenue. Sorry. Then the next stock we have is Ubisoft, also trading uh, sideways, no, oh no, it was actually falling, sorry. So Ubisoft is sideways since October the 1st, and since then, uh, yeah, this could be actually for Ubisoft, could be an interesting uh, point or uh, a moment to, to invest in them. Uh, the break uh, breakpoint uh, Tom Clancy game was Ghost Recon game was not so successful. That's actually what you see here on the chart. And at the moment, so many other better new games are not planned. So it's a bit. Hmm. Let's say it's a. It's 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 actually interesting that it's trading sideways. So. And uh, as I said, now with the new competition of Stadia of Google. So, might open up a new market for Ubisoft games because they're cooperating with Stadia, and yeah, keep keep an eye on it. So, for me personally, when it's falling on the 36, 35 uh, euro range again, then uh, they're definitely interesting for me. At the moment, I'm a bit reluctant to to invest in Ubisoft, but 53 is not too bad. So let's check the P. Oh, the P ratio actually is still extremely high. So sorry for saying this. And the EPS is also not the best one, but it's Ubisoft. They make great games. Then we have Capcom, a little bit more special game. So after this amazing break out at, uh, yeah, in end of July, uh, August. So we are back uh, more on 11. $67 so trading also a little bit more sideways like uh, all the time before uh, it was going up in uh, in spring 2017 Capcom a bit special uh, company I made a video about this so if you want to know more about Capcom check out this video it's in the list of the gaming stocks here on my channel then we have CD project CD project here in Pol Polish Slotties Cyberpunk is coming at one point. Witcher 3 gets a Netflix series, also great. I don't know how uh, CD Projekt is actually profiting from the Netflix series, to be honest. Um, yeah, it goes slowly but steady up. Slowly but steady up. So, so for each person that invested here, like in 2017, I don't know, it's a six bagger. <laughs> wasn't bad it wasn't bad for you guys it wasn't really not bad even if you invested here on the top in July uh, 2018 you already 20% up so it was not too bad so uh, it would be interesting to invest now but on the other hand if cyberpunk 
comes out and it's not this awesome that everyone expects it to be we can def or it doesn't sell as much as i uh, expected then uh, we, we, we're going to see a drop in this I, i'm more or less sure about this then zinger 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 trading sideways yeah definitely sideways but also steadily going up steadily going up so steadily going up since let's say uh, 2016 the PE ratio is for me just too 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 crazy it's just too high but uh, it's a, yeah it's a mobile phone company uh, I, th oh. I think it's even uh, related to uh, to Acti no not Activision sorry <coughs> I wouldn't invest in it so I, I keep my money away from this one Tencent holding disclaimer I'm invested in Tencent so it's the big uh, Chinese uh, gaming internet company uh, which is like yeah it's they own the Chinese internet more or less they like like a bit too much sideways but uh, considering uh, all of those regulations in China where they forbid now young people to play video games during the day more or less so it's actually not too bad but uh, yeah it's just just don't invest only in Tencent because you think it's a great company. Also, be aware that uh, that it has like uh, in China, it's in a market that's a little bit more regulated than uh, than in the Western world, and uh, they, the government could actually stop stop people from uh, purchasing products from in, in mobile phone games. So that's something. Personally, for me as a free trader, as a libertarian, something I definitely do not like so much. I would say everyone, each person should be always have the full liberty to purchase whatever the person wants. So I don't want to become political. It's a Chinese company, so let's let's hope that we see some 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 nice, yeah, at least 50 50 dollars again. This would be just amazing. Let's hope that we one point uh, can see this tops again then next one is nvidia not a gaming company but a hardware company also disclaimer i'm invested in nvidia and i'm very much bullish on it so it's amazing to see that they they go like crazy up so i'm already up uh, also of a nice uh, nice percentage i have to admit and yeah it was the perfect moment here to to get in nvidia in, in the mid uh, december 2018 so and then keep your keep your uh, keep your hands down and keep your legs uh, calm and just just watch nvidia growing and maybe maybe one day we even see the 200 300 dollars so who knows so I, I i will stay i'm not selling now and then that's it yeah that's a nasdaq composite so if you want to invest in the nasdaq composite all right my friends so i hope you enjoyed this short video about uh, or getting an overview about the most important uh, uh, stocks equities in the gaming industry i hope to to bring with this video is um, the, the stock market the finance market closer to gamers but also also uh, give a little bit more uh, to to finance experts uh, in an entertainment way of course uh, an overview of what what gamers like me actually think about this so so it's yeah it's the two worlds so finance markets and gaming and mostly uh, finance experts are not gamers and gamers are not uh, investors or interested in the finance markets and that's what I I want to do with this video to bring those two worlds together to get a better understanding that loot boxes or getting people play your games is actually a good thing from the financially aspect but maybe the community is not always interested into it so for companies it's too very interesting to find the right balance have a proportionate uh, product uh, don't think gamers are stupid that's definitely not the case but also do not listen to each single person that uh, outcries uh, that they that they would never buy a game and then in the end they buy a game and they even purchase micro uh, little DLCs or other in-game products. So that's it for me. Have a wonderful day. See you the next time, my friends. Bye bye.